Now, just going to do a quick run through how to set up the MLG Pro Nets um, and how to get beam status, last block beam, stuff like that out of them. So, this is the set that I have here now. Um, I've already got them connected over SOPUS. I have one cable going to my configuration port, which is what I'm displaying here with SOPUS, and I've got another one running back. The other on the bus in, I've got it connected to the PLC. Now you can see that they are operational. These are just 50 millimeter beam spacing. You can get it down to 2.5 if you need it. So I've already set the IP address of these um, to be on the same subnet as what my network is. So now everything's communicating. Everything looks good. Um, we'll go ahead and open up the PLC side of things and get all of it up and talking. So I'm going to, I've already installed the EDS files, but if you need the EDS files, you can come to downloads and then go to software and then pull the EDS file for whichever device you have. Um, I've already installed the EDS file or downloaded it. Um, so all I'll do is come here, install, and find the EDS file that I need under my downloads. And see, I've already pulled those three. And I've already installed those into Network Configurator. So now I'll just go online with the network. And I'll upload. And while that's loading, um, again, you can come to type in the part number, downloads, and literature, and you can pull the manual to understand the mapping of everything. I've already got that pulled up here. So with that, I can start to understand um, my instant sizes and how everything is mapped out. And depending on if I want with configuration or without configuration, um, that is explained here. So depending on if you're exclusive owner with configuration or without configuration, um, today I'm just gonna be doing it without configuration so we can just get the data in and start looking at the beams. And then whenever we get it all mapped over, we can come down here and start to understand where that data is coming in and what that looks like. Now I'm connected and it has found the MLGs that I have. I'll go here, I'll bring that down, go ahead and open that up and determine what assemblies I want. I'm going to do uh, 100 and 101 without configuration. Then I'll just need to map that over 30 bytes as far as the um, the inputs. So I'll take that and deregister 18,000. And the outputs, I'll put them in 18,100. I'll register those. Now that I've got that in there, hit OK. Then I'll download everything to the network. Now we'll verify that we have connection. You see 50 is up and that is the MLGs. Stated here. So it did find those. Well, that's awesome. That's up and running. Now we'll open up the PLC program. The PLC program has completed um, uploading. We'll come here to memory. And we'll shrink that down. And we are going to deregister 18,000.
take that down to a bit level. So now what does this data mean? So when we come back here, I am using 101 that we see here as far as my input. I know that the first word or two bytes of data are going to be the number of block beams. And you see that right here is zero. I put my hand in there. Right now I've got two beams blocked. So now as I move my hand up or down, I can see here the number of beams blocked is one. Number of beams made is five, since this does only have six beams. And then the next one would be first beam blocked. So depending on what beam is blocked first, that changes as well. And that's how you read the data between here to here with a PLC and understand what beams are blocked, um, how many are blocked, and what the last one is blocked. Everything inside of this instance. Let me know if you have any questions and I hope this helps.